Thousands of migrant workers took pictures of themselves while watching the opening game of the Soccer World Cup in Doha, Qatar. They were watching from a special fan zone near the workers' area outside the city. The area is where hundreds of thousands of Qatar's low income workers live. There were two large television screens set up one inside the stadium and one set up outside for the additional crowds. Ronald Sinyondo is 25 years old and from Uganda. He has been working long hours under the heat in Qatar for two years to finish the stadiums for the World Cup. He was cheering for Qatar in the game. We are here to enjoy our sweat now. I am just overwhelmed with the things I'm seeing now, he said. Qatar is a rich country with a large natural gas field. Most of the country's 2.9 million people are foreign workers, from low paid laborers to high powered businessmen. Human rights groups have called attention to how laborers are treated and their lack of protection. The workers, including the ones who built the stadiums and hotels for the World Cup, are overworked, underpaid, and live in poor conditions. The Qatari government has passed labor reforms that include a minimum monthly wage of 1,000 Qatari rials, or about $275. This amount is more than the laborers usually earn back in their home countries. A ticket for the game costs on average about $200. For many laborers, that price is out of reach. So, the special fan zone in the industrial area is free for them. Ali Jamal is a 26-year-old from Ethiopia. He has worked in Qatar for five years. He said, I am supporting my sisters and brothers in Ethiopia by sending money back. So I'm coming here because tickets are too much. During Qatar's game against Ecuador on Sunday, thousands of workers came into the stadium to then be disappointed when Ecuador won over Qatar 2 to 0. Some workers spoke to Reuters and said that this game would be the only match they could watch all month. A healthcare worker from Nepal was one of the few women in the stadium watching the match. She said that she would not be able to see any more games because she works long hours at a hospital. Mohammed Ansar is from India. He has been working in Qatar since the beginning of the year. He is volunteering with FIFA, the soccer governing body, for two upcoming games so he could watch them in person. But on Sunday, he was at the special fan zone with other workers. He said that he was thankful to be watching on the screen despite Qatar's loss. With this stadium for free, they're considering poor people also, Ansar said. I'm Faith Perlow. Thousands of migrant workers took pictures of themselves while watching the opening game 
of the Soccer World Cup.